guys welcome back to world illuminator 11 i hope you're all having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out the channel so earlier i did an energy check-in in which we're looking at what is going on with the divine masculines the divine feminines for your journey and that was showing that your divine masculine may be defensive right now you know they may be pulling back they may be quiet or quieter than usual or you know you may just not be knowing what's going on with them if there's no communication at all or you know or they may be communicating but not communicating much they are being defensive because they're working on certain things right now and becoming more balanced on uh letting go of the fears that are still holding them back there's a lot that is happening there do check out that reading if you haven't seen it however the love that they have for you that is strong they don't want to lose you and they're doing what they need to do to free themselves from the fears and all these things so that they can be with you and you know so that was the message that was coming through so right now we're going to bring in three decks and we're going to see what they're wanting you to say to you during this time of silence so we are bringing in the divine masculine takes charge affirmations so thank you angels what are the divine masculines wanting to say to the divine feminines during this time of silence what are they wanting to say to the divine feminines during this time of silence okay just those and then divine masculine opens up thank you angels what is the divine masculine what are they wanting to say during this time of silence what are they wanting to say to their divine feminine during this time of silence anything else coming through okay it's just those two as well and then divine masculine the silence deck thank you angels what are the divine masculines wanting to say during this time of silence what are they wanting to say to their divine feminine during this time of silence and the angels? Well, okay, so a few cards have jumped out of this one. So let's have a look and see. So I'm just going to turn these round so I can see what they're saying. So we'll start with the silence deck because it's got quite a number of cards that have jumped out here. And always remember, you know, they um, all divine masculines are on different parts of their journey. G their journeys are different. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't when it comes to your journey. So the first card that I can see here that they are saying to you is, You're, uh, you are a part of me, I can always feel you. So they're saying to you, you know, they can always feel you. And that's because you are one. The same way that you feel them, they are also feeling you. So they're saying to you, you are a part of me. I can always feel you. And they are also saying to you, I am processing my feelings. So right now they're processing. You know, they're going through the time of processing their feelings when it comes to the love that they have for you, their feelings about the things that are going on in their life. You know, the things that they need to sort out, feelings that the things that they need to release of, of the past there's all this stuff that is going on that they're diving deeper into their feelings processing their feelings and they're letting you know this as well and they are also saying to you my your voice accent smell name pops up everywhere in my life so how can i forget you so they're saying to you they're constantly being reminded of you by the universe by the angels you know there's always something that goes on in their life no matter how long it has been since the last time you saw it, you saw them or you were together and they're saying to you how can i forget you so they are always being reminded that you two belong together that they belong with you and they're saying to you how can i forget you so they're just coming through here letting you know that they haven't forgotten about you even if they may be defensive or they may not have communicated for however long and they're also saying to you i'm feeling overwhelmed by the desire and passion i have for you and that was really coming through they have all this love for you but they're sort of still stuck with these things that they need to let go of and they're saying to you during this time we're not together i am feeling overwhelmed by the desire and the passion i have for you it may also be a fear that comes up for them because they have all this desire and passion for you and they're still trying to to process their feelings and you know and they may pull back because of that because they're trying to work things out so that's what they are saying as well here and they are also saying to you okay i'm just looking i'm working to i'm working out what to say to you so right now you know during this time that they're silent they're trying to work out what to actually say to you you know they know they have this love for you but they struggle with you know the words of what to actually say so they're saying to you i'm working out what to say to you and they also want to say things in the right way you know they don't want to mess things up things up so they're saying i'm working out what to say i have to look at your pictures to feel close to you so you know they're constantly looking at your pictures and you know just wanting 
and to feel that closeness to you as well. So they may be looking at your old pictures or current pictures, looking at you on, on social media. You know, they are looking at pictures to feel close to you, just remembering even in their mind as well. And they are also saying to you here, I'm talking to you in my mind. So, you know, they may not be speaking to you in person or they may be pulling back in their communication or they may not have spoken to you for quite some time, but they're saying to you, I'm talking to you in my mind. So they're constantly talking to you and they're also saying to you, I am making love to you energetically. So this may be something that you're feeling, maybe even when you're going to bed, you know, feeling them around you, they're saying to you, I am making love to you energetically because they have all that desire and that passion for you as well that they are, that is overwhelming them. So they are letting you know this as well. And they are also saying to you, there are certain fears coming up here. Why do you want me? So this is something that they need to release, you know, sort of maybe feeling like they're not good enough, maybe because of the things that have happened in the past, the things that they may have said and done. And they're wondering, why do you want me? So these are the fears, you know, the things that come up for them that they need to work on releasing so that they can feel that they're enough for you. You know, they can release the past and be able to move forward towards you as well. They are also saying to you, your light is my guide. So your light is guiding them home. So continue to shine your light bright by doing you, by loving your life, by living your life in joy. You are guiding them home. So they are saying to you, your light is my guide. And they are also saying to you, I want to reach out and tell you how I feel. So they're wanting to reach out. You know, the words may not come out about what to say, but they, or they're still working out what to say, but they are wanting to reach out. You know, this is where they are within themselves. When it comes to this love that they have for you, they know they have all this love for you and they want to reach out to tell you how they feel. But so the fears sometimes come in. Why do you want me? Am I good enough for you? You know, thinking about the past, the things that they said and they did, that brings in the fears. Now, sometimes, you know, whatever those fears are, but they stop them from being able to move forward but also needing to release the fears to become more balanced in themselves that stops them as well from reaching out so they're saying to you i want to reach out to tell you how i feel but they're also saying the words won't come out i need time to open up so they are realizing that they just need the time to find the right words to to say you know and you know and the words that they just won't come out you know, they are working on this. So they're saying to you, I need time to open up. And whilst they are working out, you know, needing that time to open up, it's actually helping them as well to be in a place in which they release the fears. You know, it's the time during which whilst they are trying to work out what to say or needing that time to open up, it's helping them to learn what they need to learn in the situation that they're in. It's helping them to release the fears, to open their throat chakra. So it's giving them the time that they need to work on certain things in their own life when they haven't quite opened up to say, give you the words that they are wanting, you know, when they haven't quite found the right words to speak yet. So they are, and they're also saying to you, I am waiting for the right time. So for them, they know that the time hasn't quite come yet. You know, because they need to release the fears. They need to be able to just speak out and speak from their heart and speak truthfully and, you know, and not have any fears about, you know, what, whether you would want them or not. And, you know, why do you want me? All those things. And they need to release all that. So they're waiting for the right time, the right time in which they feel that they are in a good balanced place within themselves. So, you know, and that's what they're working on during this time to become more balanced. And they're saying to you, I'm waiting for the right time. So they are also letting you know this and they're saying to you, you have to trust me. So they're saying you have to trust me. I'm doing what I need to do and I am going to get there. You know, this time that I am quiet, that I am pulling back, it's actually helping me to find the right words. It's helping me to release what needs to go. It's helping me to become stronger in myself. It's helping to process my feelings. It's helping me to do all sorts of things. So you have to trust me that I am going to get there and I am going to move forward and tell you how I feel because I am really wanting to tell you 
how I feel. Okay, and then the other cards that have come out as well. So the first one is I'm walking away from negative people and situations. So this is the changes that they're making in their lives. And they're wanting you to know that they are making certain changes, walking away from negative people and situations so that they can be able to move forward towards the life that they desire. I am finding my way back to my divine feminine. So that's what they're doing. You know, in everything they're doing in their life right now, even if they may be defensive, towards you you know and you may not be knowing what's going on with 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 them they're saying to you i'm finding my way back to my divine feminine and finding their way back to you is all about releasing all these things that need to go first it's all about them opening up their throat chakra you know working on themselves becoming more balanced within themselves so they're saying to you i am finding my way back to you because you are the one that they're truly meant to be with and then the cards that came out from um, the divine masculine opens up. They're also saying to you, always remember that you and I are one. The choices that you make, I make too. In a different way, in many cases, but I do. I am always following in your footsteps. So your light is guiding them home. They are reminding you that they are following in your footsteps. They may take what, however long that they need to to deal with things in their own life. You know, it's all part of the, you know, the um, the lessons that they need to learn. And you know, at the agreements or contracts that they had for their soul, they all they need to do all those things. But they're also saying to you, always remember that the choices that you're making, when you're making the choices to be positive, to love your life and all these things, to put you first, they follow in your footsteps to do that for themselves as well. To love yourself, then they follow in, their foot, in, the, in your footsteps and do that for themselves. So that's what they're saying to you. And the last message that they came out is, I am constantly daydreaming about us, about our future and life together. Bear with me. I am working on ensuring that these beautiful dreams come true. So they are dreaming about a life with you. You know, in the other message, they were saying, I don't want to lose you. I love you. You know, they want to be with you and they are working on ensuring that those dreams come true. That's what they are doing. That's how they're finding their way back to you, their divine feminine, by, you know, by doing what they need to do in their own life so that they can free themselves from what is still holding them back, from having that beautiful life with you, you know, for those beautiful dreams that they have to come true. And they're working of this because this is what they're wanting. So that's what they're saying to you. You have to trust me. I am going to get there. So those are the messages that they have for you. I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.